So I want to make this video because I care about you. Um, as a life insurance agent, I want you to stop lying to yourself. Um, the moment that I stopped lying to myself, the moment that I, as the agent, started to realize that my bank account was not changing, yet I was submitting $40,000 worth of AP, and I was getting shouted out by my leadership team, I was at the top of the leaderboards, and I was lying to everyone saying I'm making forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 to myself is the moment my business changed. I can confidently flip on the camera here today and I can share with you real numbers and bank account statements of where I'm making $30,000 or more per month. And it all became or was that moment when I told myself that there is a problem in this industry. I just got off a phone with another gentleman and multiple people today who are saying they're making fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 per month. And I asked them, John, can you be really real with me right now? How much is your bank account? No money. Another agent, you know, how much did you actually, I made 15,000. Was that AP or business? Uh, that's AP. How much do you have in your bank account? How much did you actually make profit, net profit, bottom line? How much did you actually make? $2,000. So why is this lie ruining your business? Why is this right, lie ruining your family? Why is this lie that you're telling yourself creating you in a financial position where you can't even feed yourself. And this is what the final expense or life insurance industry is ran off. There's a video that I responded to or a guy that reached out to me. He literally lost his house, is sleeping in his car because his upline told him to buy more leads, buy more leads, keep selling. He was selling 40, 50,000, thought he was a man, but the net profit was nothing. And I make this video because I'm here to try to change families. The minute that I started to track my numbers, the minute that I started to realize, damn, I'm actually not making money. I realized that I started to realize like, okay, there's an actual problem here and I wanted to separate myself from the pack of everyone else. I was the black sheep and I was okay with being the black sheep. I remember speaking to my upline on a community meeting, like, dude, there's a problem here. You know what the best way is to recruit? You know, who I have recruited over 600 agents who want to work for me and I only have four agents on my team right now. You know how you can start recruiting and making money if that's the way that you want to go is to simply help people make money. Let me say that again. Everyone says, how can I build my team? Or you need the team to make, you know, your team is going to make you money. But imagine if your team doesn't make you money. This is why I left the industry. This is why this industry is destroyed by fake prophecies. And people are telling you one of the biggest YouTube channels in this space right now, how you can make $200,000 has never sold a life insurance policy in the last two years but yeah, he's telling people how to make money, how people on the internet right now are flexing, making $50,000 a month. But let me see your bank account. Do you have 250, 300 saved, $400,000 saved, 500,000 if you're putting up this much AP, where's your money at? And I wanna share with you guys this because I care about you. And this lie plagues family. This lie has put people in the streets. This lie puts people homeless. People have reached out to me who've lost their house, who can't feed their children. And this lie ruins this industry. This is one of the most amazing industries that you guys can be in. This is one of the most helpful, one of the most serving places that you can do if you can build it the right way. And I just want to share with you what I've done. The lie that I smashed, the lie that I removed myself was the minute that I started to be like, damn, there's a real problem in myself. There's a real problem in this business. And I wanted to actually leave this industry. So what I want you to do is to understand what the numbers are. The numbers don't lie. The industry, the traditional MLM model that's out there right now is not built for you, the independent agent who is buying leads from the IMO to actually win. It's not, unless you want to build leverage and recruit people. Recruiting people is so cool. It's so great. It's, it's a wonderful thing. I, I have four people on my team right now and I make them all money and I make sure they make more money than me and I make sure that my team is successful because the only thing that I care about, the only thing that's gonna help me build a business and build a successful company that's going to change this industry and build a badass business in this insurance industry is that I'm going to make sure every person on my team actually makes money. I'm going to make sure my team is financially successful. When has your leader ever told you that? When has the person who brought you in the business ever said, hey, let me see your bank account. Let me see how much you've actually made. Let me actually make sure your checks are more than $2,000 this week. And if you're not that leader, there's a problem. And the problem in this industry is that people are false promised. Someone literally picked the phone and told me today, I'm making $15,000. I said, John, are you actually making 15? Is that AP or is that business in the bank? Oh, that's AP. How much are you actually making? Oh, about two. This is a problem, guys. You're not making $15,000. Men, women, you guys are not making money. This is not a, like a, a place for you to say that you're making all this money if you're not. Because if you can lay your head down at night on the pillow and you're not happy with how much money you make, if you can lay your head down on the, on the pillow and realize that you are flat out broke, that you might have to leave this industry, this is a problem of the industry. 
And I want you guys to know this is because I don't care if you're making, your upline is going to pump your head up. Your upline is not going to tell you this. Your upline is not going to say, hey, you know, you know, you aren't making money, Peter. That's right. Don't buy leads. You know, go work your old leads or, you know, go get a part-time job. Your upline is going to tell you that it's all on you. But this is what they're told to do because the retention rate of agents is so low. It's so terrible. And as a leader, and for you, I just want to share with you what I've learned. And I'm ranting here, but I want to share with you everything that I've built is I wanted to actually care about people. And I've always wanted to help people. And this business is not for me, dude. Cool. You made 20 some thousand dollars last month. Cool. You're not a big shot. You're broke, dude. You're broke, dude. And this is the message to myself. You're not making any money right now. The only way that you make money is one day is that you change families. You help your agents win. You help change lives. Because one day on your deathbed, Peter, you're not going to be like, dude, I made $35,000 in a month. You're not going to say that. You're going to be like, dude, imagine Sarah who joined my team, who was under an MLM model, who was flat out broke and you changed her life. That's what I do this for. And this is what people should be doing this business for. But some of the most successful and rich people in this industry have been plagued. Their heart are fellow, you know, to, to be the great business people and entrepreneurs. But you're leading people down the wrong path. Tell someone they suck and fire them. Don't let someone fail. And it's not okay to fail in this business. If you fail, it's on you. I understand that you have to have personal accountability. But your leader is responsible. Anybody who joins me, who's a part of my team, who wants to work with me, I'm going to hold your coattail. I'm going to make sure that you win. And you as the leader... If you want to build traction in your business, start have people work for you. If you want to become successful in this business, why don't you actually help one person actually get real results before you recruit someone else? This is why I left the traditional MLM, by MLM business. This is why I want to help agents. And most importantly, this is why I'm on a mission to change this industry. I love you guys. I care about you. Though, and I want you guys to win. But the moment that I realized there is a problem, the moment that I started tracking my bank account, the moment I realized like, dude, you're a loser, man. You're telling people you're making $30,000. You just made 12 grand. You're telling people you made $40,000 in AP, but you made $8,000 because you've overspent on leads. You've had so many chargebacks. You wrote bad business. You told people that you're going to call them back and get their account number, but you still submitted it. You're going to go ahead and submit the policy and tell them that, hey, we can go and do an application uh, via e-app. When you were there, Peter, yeah, I'm exposing myself. I was that shitty agent. I was that guy. And I don't want you guys to make that mistake. To the moment I told myself, dude, enough of this. You're not fooling anybody. You're not fooling, you're not fooling John, John down the tree. You're only fooling yourself. You're tricking yourself and you're tricking your future. And the moment that you make that switch, and the moment that you hold yourself accountable, and the moment that you realize that I need to build this business as a business, a business that makes money. We are doing this to not just play the game of business. We're not doing this just to help sell some life insurance. We're doing this to help people but make money. Did you start this business just because you thought business and life insurance was cool? No, you were probably promised to make an ungodly amount of money. So this was attractive to you. You jumped in this industry, you failed, you blamed the industry and you said, hey, it's the leads, there's my upline. No, it's you, but it's also it's you and your lies. And Peter, this is a message for you. This is not a message for anyone else. You just documented your past six months. I don't know why I just came out with this, but this is the, the life that I lived in my first three to four months in this industry, flat out broke. Now I live abundantly. Now I'm so grateful and so blessed. Now I'm actually trying to change lives. So it's, and it's, and it's so funny when you do the right thing, when you help people, you build traction, you get people reaching out to you and we have nothing to sell people. I have nothing to sell you. I just want you to win. I will build something incredible to change lives because I'm on a mission to help other people change their bank account, not change my, my bank account. And I live by that. And I want you guys to win. I want you guys to win. And I want you guys to win more than anything. And I'm doing this to one day look back and be like, damn, you were that man. You were that guy. You were that kid who grew up to be an effective leader to help change lives, not just get people to submit 8P to go broke and to seem successful and lie to them. And I love you guys. I want you to win. That's just the truth. Cheers.